this is a quick overview on how to send mass emails from Excelair and the various options you have for setting up different accounts for sending mass emails. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview on how that works. Uh, to send an email to more than one person at a time, some people call this a, a mail merge or a mass email uh, or even just email marketing, um, all you need to do is come into Excelair and either candidates or contacts and simply click on the mass email uh, button right here. When you select the mass email button, it's going to open up the email window, and you'll know you've selected the right option because instead of seeing a, a hi Brian or a hi Aaron based on the person you've selected, it'll show you a hi first name. This is what we call a merge tag. So what it means is that to all the people who receive this email, they're going to get a personalized email with their first name in this. So if you see in the background here, it would say hi Aaron or hi Abigail or hi Adam, hi AJ. Uh, and, and again, each person will get a personalized email. It is not a BCC. Excelar actually creates an individual email per person uh, that's meant to receive this email. So before you actually send out an email, you want to first come up to your options and, and, and specify how you want to send this. Do you want to send it just to the recipients that you've chosen? Meaning that if in the background here you've actually selected a few different can uh, candidates to send this email to, it would send just to those recipients. Uh, again, that's the recipients option. Or you could choose the search list option, meaning had you just done a search for everybody in the database named Aaron, when you choose this option, send in search list, it would show just uh, send an email just to the people that you've done a search for. If you click all in current view, it's going to initiate an email to everybody in that view. So if I came back and hit clear search, uh, in the background here, it would send an email to everybody that's in that view. Um, so for instance, this would be my active view and far too many candidates to send that to. But it could also be a static view you've created or uh, maybe a different dynamic view. So again, you'll click the mass email button and then choose your options on, on how you want to send. I'm just going to say to the, the uh, recipients uh, or the search list that I've, I've specified. I'm going to pull up just all of my active candidates. Uh, from there, you will craft your subject and your uh, the body of the email um, as normal. Uh, don't forget you can include a template. If I click on styles and then choose a template, I could load a pre-built template I've created like my reaching out new opportunity template. That'll load a pre-built template that I've created. And you'll notice I've had, I have different merge tags as well that I've used. So as long as field data is present for each of the, the candidates you've selected, each of these merge tags will fill in with the data specific to that candidate to create a highly personalized email to this list of candidates. Now the last thing you'll notice here is that when I go to send the email, we also have the concept of different from accounts. So when I go to send it, I have a list of different profiles or email sending accounts that I've set up inside of my software. I have four different accounts. One of them I've identified as my mass mailing account. But I can put any names or rules to these accounts. And so before I actually send out an email, I want to specify which account I'm actually using to send that email. So this is important. Just to remember that when you go to send out a mass email, you might want to use a different account than your day-to-day -day default account, for example. Okay. Now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and hit send, and it's going to send this email to all of the candidates that I've specified. You'll also notice, uh, depending on my preference, I can have the, uh, the unsubscribe link up here at the bottom of my email. This isn't required. You could always delete it or choose a different style sheet uh, with which to send this email. Um, but I'm not going to hit send right now. Instead, I'm going to go show you where we would set up the different accounts for sending email. So I'm going to click up here on the settings uh, icon and then click on user options. I'm going to then click on the mail tab and you'll notice here we have a default account set up. So when you first start using the software you don't need to specify any type of server details. You can just simply enter your name, your email address and your signature and other items here and you can start using our email servers to send out email. However, do we, we do not allow you to send mass emails through our servers. So in order to send mass emails, you'll need to set up your own account. So you can click on the Advanced tab here. And this is where you'll see, if I click on the drop-down, the different uh, alternate accounts that I've set up. So what you can do as a user is create unlimited sending accounts for different purposes. So what I can do is hover over this Create New Account icon. 
and you'll have the option to set either create an SMTP account or a SendGrid account. Refer back to our blog post or knowledge base for the difference between these two. But let's go ahead and set up an SMTP account. And you'll see here, these are all the different accounts uh, details that you'll need to set up. So you can set up an account here. I can say maybe my hot, uh, hot list uh, marketing account. And this is where I'd enter the details on that account. Maybe smtp.gmail.com or any of the details that you have um, from your domain or your mail server. So enter your, your server, your username and password. This is also weird inter information about your name, company name, the email address that this uh, email should come from, the name, the reply address, the reply link address. So another kind of uh, advanced tip here is that different accounts can have different rules for different purposes. So I could create an account that was coming from careers at evolutionrecruiting.com but have all replies go to Jackie at evolutionrecruiting.com or the email could come from myself and go to my assistant or come from my assistant and have replies go to me so as you can see here you can set up different rules based on the sending accounts you're using um, as an efficient way of working internally again somebody might in your organization might be responsible for sending out bulk emails but you want all replies to come to a centralized address or maybe you want it to come from your company but go to a specific person so again these these different sending accounts can be used for those purposes uh, inside your organization but the idea is you can really create as many sending accounts as you want I could also set up a send grid account and again refer to our blog or knowledge base for details on this but with SendGrid, you have some additional functionality in terms of allowing you to automatically clean up unsubscribe requests, automatically uh, remove bounce emails from your list to, to kind of automatically keep your list clean, um, and you don't have to do that process manually. So again, um, set up as many accounts as you'd like using different rules inside of the software. And then when you go to actually send a mass email, click Send Mass Email, choose the options whether you want it to go to the search list the entire view or just your recipients and then also make sure just to choose the proper sending account uh, when sending out those emails either way extremely fast and flexible solution any questions send us an email support at cbizsoft